You know, in a lot of ways, I really feel like the paint line that I've created helps tell even my family's story because my kids and my husband and our home is really the inspiration for anything I do creatively. So a lot of the colors are colors that I chose that reminded me of my children's personalities, even their own bedrooms, um, but also the beautiful things here on the farm. Those elements are things that really inspire me and I wanted to make sure that that was captured in this paint line. For me, the perfect paint would need to capture all the simple, timeless colors that surround me every day and make me feel at home. A palette with a fresh, relaxed style that makes it easy to create value where you're planted and preserve it with hardworking durability and stain resistance. For me, the perfect paint is personal. I'm a homebody. I love the weekends. It really puts me at ease. It's the calming blue of retreat and relaxation. To me, it just feels like home. Wedding band is the color of Chip's wedding ring. For me, this color represents promise. It represents timelessness. It's a color that is certain and rich in security. One of our favorite games we would play when we were on a road trip was who could find the most windmills. When we started looking for property, one of the most important elements that that land had to have on it was a windmill. When I walk into my garden, there's just that one color that really captures my eye. It's the vine ripened tomatoes. I had to have a color that reminded me of my favorite place on the farm. I love a strong, pure white trim around doors and windows to really make the architectural elements of a home stand out. So true white is a bright white that I design mainly for trim and molding. There's something magical about Sunday stroll. It's calming, it's soothing, it's the chance to just get away from it all, but at the same time, be closer to the ones you love. Soft landing, it just reminds me of family when I come home. I mean, this is my resting place. And for me, this palette wouldn't be complete without a color like soft landing. I found this beautiful bluish gray and I named it Sir Drake because it's such a solid color, but there's also such a thoughtfulness to it that really reminds me of my Drake. Silverado Sage just reminds me of that hearty plant that also has that delicate bloom it's really just that balance, which to me makes it really special. Shiplap is a ready-to-go white with a built-in character, and really that's why it's one of my favorites. Rainy Days is really the comfort of being home and taking in the quiet moments. And I really feel like this color is one of those colors that just makes you want to sit on the couch, curl up, and read a good book. The story of One Horn is she's our matriarch goat. She's our mama goat. And when I was choosing whites, the idea of having a color named after her, we had to do that because she's our favorite animal on the property. I really love the look of the olive branch. I love the meaning and I love the purpose. To me, this green is about growth. It's about peace and all the essentials. You know, I really love magnolia green. Green is one of my favorite colors. The magnolia leaf, it really signifies just life. It's fresh, it's simple, and it's timeless. I really love the color Lux. It has this depth and richness to it, and that's really what it brings to any space. It's always important to me that we're around the table. Gatherings is one of those colors that make you want to stay a little longer. It makes you feel warm and welcome. It's really about family and friends. The garden is just one of my favorite places. And so a garden trowel is one of my basic tools I use in the garden every day. That good old basic tool, just a good starting point. My daughter, Emmy, is a strong girl. She has a super soft side. This color has the same qualities, a bold, strong base with soft overtones. This shade of pink is such a pretty color. I think it's a true classic that won't ever go out of style. And that's why I chose my grandmother's middle name and my oldest daughter's middle name to describe it. Duke Gray just reminds me of my son. He's got this quiet confidence about him. So the color is extremely bold, but then there's also something about it that's soft and subtle. It reminds me of Duke. We have a cupola on top of our barn, so every time we're riding up the driveway and I see that, I know we're home. And I knew I had to have a beautiful gray color in this line that reminded me of that. Carter is a family name. So to me, the name and the color really represent legacy, heritage, tradition. Carter cream really just helps build on a solid foundation. 
For me, the idea of Blackboard just reminds me of times past, because after you've written on it, there's just that subtleness to it. It's really this black that's soft, that has a story. The rose without question is one of my favorite flowers. I love the natural roses because they're strong and they're deeply fragrant. And just like this color, they're delicate, elegant, and timeless. One of our favorite hens lays this beautiful, really subtle greenish blue egg. Every morning it's like a surprise from her to us.